Hello Year 3 and welcome to today's RE lesson. Our learning objective for today is, can I explain where and how colour is used to express religious feelings and ideas? We will explore where colour is used to express these religious feelings and ideas. We are going to watch a video of a visit to a church. While you are watching, find a variety of colours in the church and record where, how and why you think colour is used. So, once you have watched the video, you need to record some of the uses of colour with notes on feelings created and your thoughts on the purpose and reason of that colour choice. So your first task is to record some of the uses of colour. Make notes on the feelings created and why you think that colour has been chosen. Pause this video and watch the video that you will find in the link. Pause your video now. Let's begin by looking at the church calendar. Liturgical cycle divides the year into a number of different seasons, each with their own mood and prayers, which can be signified by different ways of decorating churches. Colours of parments and vestments for clergy. The colours change from the green, growing, pure white, red hot and purple the colour of kings. So in Advent, purple is used to show that Jesus is coming. At Christmas, yellow is used to show Jesus is born. In ordinary time, we use green. This is the time when Jesus taught people stories and people learnt from these stories. During Lent, we also use purple, which shows that Jesus will die and rise again. We use red to show the suffering Jesus endured when he was being crucified. We use yellow at Easter to show that Jesus rises. Purple represents times of preparation. So we prepare for Advent, we prepare for Lent. White is used to show times of celebration, for example, Christmas and Easter. Red represents the fire of the Holy Spirit and for blood on Saints' Day. So for example, St. George's Day. Green shows the growth of the church during Pentecost. Some priests wear special clothes called vestments. If you look here, you will see some of the different vestments that priests may wear. You will notice the colours change to represent the different time in the church year. The altar. The altar is decorated to represent the time in the in the church year. So here you can see how altars have been decorated with purple, with green, with white and with red. So activity two, what I'd like you to do for this is design and make a banner or vestment. A vestment is the scarf that you would have seen the priest wearing in the video. But, and you need to design this for the priest to wear at one of the important times in the church year that we have discussed. Once you have completed this, you can complete activity three, which is to draw an altar and to decorate the altar to represent the time in the church year. So your first activity, 
design a banner or vestment, which is a scarf, for the priest to wear at one of the important times during the church year. So you could design the clothes that you think the priest would wear, or you could design the scarf that you think the priest would wear, or you could work, design a banner to display in the church to represent an important time in the church year. Then you can draw an altar. There is a picture of an altar here so you can see what it looks like. And then you can decorate it for the different times in the church year. Finally, once you have completed your activities, I'd like you to reflect on what we have learnt today. I'd like you to have a go at answering these questions for me. Our first question is, where and how is colour used to express religious feelings and ideas? Our second question is, where do you see colour in churches? Remember to take a picture of your work and upload it on to tapestry for me.